Let's look for the greatest common factor of 180 and 378. So what we do is we write the numbers side by side that we're trying to find the greatest common factor for. Now if there's a third number, you can go ahead and make a third column. And then on this side, we are going to choose the smallest prime number. And I'll just list them over here so we know what we can choose from. So we recognize that 2 can go in 180 and 370 evenly. We put a 2 right here. 2 goes in 180 90 times. 2 goes in 378 189 times. Make sure to show the work 378 divided by 2 so that you get the correct answer. Many times students use mental math and they make a careless statement here and then end up getting the problem wrong. The next prime number that will go into 90 and 189 is 3. 3 goes into 90 30 times. 3 goes into 189 63 times. The next number that we can choose that will go into 30 and 63 is 3. 3 goes in 30 10 times. 3 goes in 63 21 times. Is there a prime number that can go into 10 and 21 evenly? No. So we are done. And now what we do is we are going to circle all the numbers on the left right here and we're going to multiply them out. This gives us 18. 18 is our greatest common factor for 180 and 378. Make sure you watch the next video on finding the least common multiple of 180 and 378. The process is very simple and similar to this, except at the very end.